Good morning. In the previous video, we learnt about photosynthesis, how the plants make their own food, what materials are required to make their own food, and what in which form they preserve their food. We also learned that they, pre they prepare their food in the form of sugar and afterwards it is converted into starch. And we also, uh, we also learned about starches present in the leaves and we can prove that by doing simple activities, starches present in the leaf, chlorophyll is necessary, sunlight is necessary, etc. Today we are going to learn about how do plants use their foot? Some unusual plants, croton leaves, flow of energy, plants and animals are interdependent. How human beings depend on plants balance in nature. Let us learn one by one in detail. How do plants use their foot? Plants prepare their own food and they use that food in different ways. If they prepare the food in the form of sugar, afterwards it converted into starch. It is used in many ways to get energy, conversion of food, the vegetables and fruits according to the availability of the seasons and in different seasons the vegetables and fruits are of two types winter vegetables and fruits and summer vegetables and fruits and we can learn about some unusual plants the prepared food is used by the plant to get energy some of the food is used to get energy some of the food is used to grow uh, used for the growth of the plant and some of the food is used for repair worn out cells conversion of food the food is converted into starch and extra food is converted into starch and it is stored in different parts of the plant body such as leaves, stems, roots, flowers, birds, seeds, etc. According to the climatic conditions and seasons, mainly the vegetables and fruits are classified into mainly two groups. Winter vegetables and fruits, summer vegetables and fruits. The fruits and vegetables which are available during winter season are known as winter vegetables and fruits. They grow very well in cool climate. Certain, plants, certain vegetables grow in cool climate in the plains during winter season on hilly areas during summer season. Cauliflower, cabbage, carrot, radish, beetroot, turnip, peas, beans are common vegetables during winter. Apples, goa, pomegranate, oranges are common fruits of winter season. Summer vegetables and fruits. The vegetables and fruits which are available during summer season are known as summer vegetables and fruits. And these plants grow very well in warm climatic conditions. They grow in plains during summer season. Brinzals, pumpkins, okra, gourd, etc. are summer vegetables. Mangoes, melons, papaya, sapota, jamuns are common fruits during summer season. We eat different parts of the plant as our vegetables. For example, leaves, spinach, lettuce, mint, coriander, etc. Roots, carrot, radish, beetroot, turnip, etc. Underground stems, potatoes, onions, garlic, ginger, etc. Flowers, cauliflower, broccoli, etc. And seeds or peas and beans.
Some unusual plants are cactus plant, croton plant. Cactus is a desert plant. In this plant, leaves are modified into spines to protect itself, itself from grazing animals and loss of water from the stomata. Next, the stem is modified into fleshy green stem and this fleshy green stem only prepares its own food materials means photosynthesis occurs in fleshy green stem in cactus plant spines are modified modified leaves croton plants croton plants contains different colorful pigments on the leaf these different colorful pigments such as red yellow orange they will mask the green color of chlorophyll of the leaf this even though they are having uh, different colorful pigments which mask the green color they can prepare their own food materials flow of energy plants trap the sun's heat during photosynthesis this heat energy is stored in the form of starch in the plant's pods and when the animals are eating the plant matter as their food this energy gets transferred into animals and human beings so flow of energy starts from sun sun's energy transferred to plants and from plants to animals and human beings plants and animals are interdependent during the photosynthesis plants give out oxygen which is breathed by the animals and human beings during their respiration without oxygen living beings cannot survive and during respiration animals and human beings give out carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide is taken by the plants during photosynthesis so plants and animals are interdependent and another thing is plants providing everything to us as our food materials we are getting from plants in the same way we are supplying nutrients and water to the plants so plants and animals are interdependent human beings depend on plants human beings always depend on plants because for food clothing material medicines gum rubber resin etc so for food we use food as a fuel and food is used for householding and furniture housing uh, making boards etc clothing material we are getting like a jute cotton from the plants to make the cloth medicines many types of medicines we are getting from the plant products plants also provide us uh, gum rubber resin etc we already learned how we depend on plants plants provide us everything to us plants animals humans and microbes form the living part of the world soil air water rocks form the non form the non living part of the world we, we are interdependent balance in nature between plants and animals starvation plants give out carbon dioxide animals give out oxygen we should be aware of the harmful effects of uh, killing of animals and cutting down of trees balance in nature if suddenly the trees are cut down it imbalance in nature carbon production of carbon the oxygen levels will decreases in the air and the carbon dioxide level increases in the air it is a type of imbalance 
and starvation. Starvation means uh, scarcity of food. When plants are cut down and uh, scarcity of food occurs due to scarcity or due to starvation many animals will die. Plants and animals are interdependent for exchange of gases. Already we learnt during the photosynthesis process plants give out carbon, use carbon dioxide which is breathed out by the animals. And plants give out oxygen during, during photosynthesis. This oxygen is breathed by the animals during respiration process. So plants are interdependent on animals. Animals are also dependent on plants to get everything. So plants are called as producers and animals and humans are called as consumers. And we should be aware of the harmful effects of killing of animals and as well as cutting down of the trees.